Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to share with you a review on the new Smashbox and Vlada collection. I got the whole collection as PR recently and I've been testing everything out. I'm going to be applying everything on my face today and swatching all the lip colors and let you guys know my thoughts about the formula and what I recommend and what I won't recommend. So if you guys want to know more about the new Petal Metal collection, then just keep on watching. Right, so before I went in with foundation, concealer, and powder, I started off with some of their new primer products. And this is the Petal Metal Shimmer Spray. It comes in the same kind of bottle as the primer water, but it's a very different um, kind of texture. It's a lot thicker, and it's more of like a gel shimmer formula. So every time I've applied it, like I go in like I do with the primer water, and it's definitely too much product. You just need like one or two pumps of this because it's more of like a thicker formula it's kind of like a gel like consistency and it's definitely very dewy it almost reminds me of using like I mean I've never used this but like the Farsali um unicorn drops or something that's like a shimmery oil product it's not greasy but it has definitely like a moisturizing feel to it so even if you do apply it too much like I've been doing um it's not going to be too much of a big deal because you're not going to feel like oily or greasy and then over that I applied the new primer this is the photo finish petal metal primer and I know they also have a radiant primer and I've heard a lot of people say that that's very like um greasy when you apply it but this one isn't greasy but it's definitely a very like highlighter kind of finish you do see it when you blend it out it does look like you're applying kind of like a liquid highlighter but once you blend it out it definitely kind of calms down and it doesn't look as intense so it does have a pinkish tone to it you can see as you start to blend it out it still looks really pink but then once you like blend it all the way out it's definitely gonna disappear a bit it's not gonna look like glitter on your face so out of both I prefer the petal metal shimmer spray just because I would use it a little bit more and I could use it with any other primer over it just to add like a little bit of hydration um, a little bit of like a shimmery effect to your skin without having as much of a shimmer look as this one and you could also use it like for your body or just like for your shoulders and stuff when you do your makeup kind of like a really really subtle body lava kind of product something that's a little bit shimmery for summer and then let's get into eyeshadow so the eyeshadow is actually probably my favorite part of this collab and I do have some of the Smashbox eyeshadow palettes and I do like the formula I don't use them as much as like my other palettes um but I don't find anything wrong with the formula either so this is what the palette looks like the packaging super pretty and this is a $29 palette you get eight shades in this palette so this is what it looks like they swatch so pretty so you have six shimmers and two matte shades they are very like pigmented so here are some swatches just like super consistent super pigmented just really really buttery and then you have two matte shades too so we're gonna do an eye look to start off to start off with the really light matte shade this is basically the only transition shade well you can use whatever you want for transition shade but like matte transition shade in the palette you can see it's like really pigmented right off the bat even though it is a lighter tone and this is kind of like a rosy matte shade and I'm kind of like always a little bit messy with my first transition shade I just like apply it all over the place because I'm just going to cover it up with the lid color because I always carry my shimmers a little bit higher then I'm moving into the darker brown matte shade that has some purple in it too I'm just going to apply that to my outer corner a little bit in my crease I don't want to apply too much because I'm just going to do shimmer all over the lid. I'm just going to go in with a smaller blending brush just to kind of pack that on a little bit more precise. I'm going to go in with the purple shades. I'm going to start off with this lighter one and my brush is dry just so I can see how it goes on with a dry brush but I will also wet this shadow. So I'm gonna have it be a lot more foiled and go in with some Fix Plus on my brush. That shade ends up looking super metallic with a wet brush. Just moving on to the other side and I've been into like these lighter purple tones. It's like very similar um, to what I did with the Too Faced Natural collection, but I just love 
these kind of colors for like spring. Then I'm gonna go in with the darker purple shimmer shade. I'm just gonna use that on the outer third of my lid. And then that's gonna be pretty much it for the eyeshadow on my lid. And then I'm gonna go in with this lighter shimmer shade. It has a little bit of a icy pink tone. I'm just gonna use that on my inner corner and kind of carry it to the inner edge of my eye since they all like kind of go together really nicely. All right, so I just used this little tiny Urban Decay purple eyeliner that I found in the bottom of my eyeliner drawer. It's in the shade Vice. And then I'm just gonna pile on some mascara. I'm debating, I don't think I'm actually gonna put on falsies um, because I'm out of falsies. <laughs> I have falsies that probably aren't doing so great because I've worn them too many times. So instead of trying to make them work, let's just make my natural lashes pop a little bit more. All right, so mascara is on. Moving into the lower lash line, I'm just gonna use the two matte shades, the lighter one to start out all over, and then the darker shade in the outer corner. All right, so the eyes are done. I'm gonna move into the highlighters. So there's three new highlighters, and each of them are $39. So the highlighters look so pretty. Like this is the packaging, and um, one of them comes with a different packaging but they're actually probably the most disappointing part of this collab because they're actually like very glittery and dry. So this first one is called Rosematic and mine actually came out broken, but this is what it looks like. It's such a pretty like packaging. So like if the formula was spot on, it's definitely worth the $39. So this is what the shade Rosematic looks like. It actually swatches really nicely pigmented. It's very rosy. It's definitely nice for like deeper complexions. This isn't something I would normally use for my complexion, but it's definitely a very, very pretty color, very peachy. But the actual like formula of it is more glittery and dry so you guys will see when i go ahead and apply them on my face i'm going to apply the other two shades so the next shade is called prismatic petal and this is the one that has that kind of like edgier packaging and this one has more i like this shade a lot so it has this like reflect to it that's almost like a goldish green and pink at the same time so this is what it looks like so you can see a little bit of that pink a little bit of that gold and then lastly we have the shade gilded rose which is kind of like a champagne and rose gold this is the one that is definitely more wearable for me it does have a little bit of gold to it so definitely it looks like very faint when i go to swatch it so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna apply um gilded rose first and then also apply that duochrome shade over top of it. And I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell, but I think you can see a little bit of the fallout on the side. And then here is what it looks like. So it definitely shows up, but it just feels dry. And for the amount of times I'm like going back into my brush um, with the product right now, the amount of times that I went in to like swatch it or pick it up with my brush, is like way too much for just like that subtle kind of look. So the highlighter is just very like densely pressed in the packaging and that might be because it has that like rose shape to it. So then I'm gonna add a little bit of prismatic petal. This is just like a really pretty color. And it just is like very glittery on my brush and just like the fallout is just looks like very, very glittery, just like glitter chunks. Just gonna dab a little bit on my cheekbone to have like a little bit more dimension so you can definitely get it to show up but it's just like it feels so stiff in the pan so definitely not the best formula and especially because these are $39 each like a $40 highlighter I have my Maybelline highlighter is way better than that so um they look gorgeous but just the application is definitely a letdown like the um smashbox casey holmes collab that actually applies way better and those are meant to be subtle highlighters but they are they apply a lot better than these and then next i'm gonna move into the highlighter drops so they have two highlighter drops i'm not actually gonna apply these on my face because i don't like these so these are 32 dollars each oh my gosh so these are really really pricey and whoo almost broke it but this is basically um 
it's not like a liquid highlighter so liquid highlighters just look like highlighter all around basically this kind of looks like if you took um, highlighter and just mixed it with water and glitter so it doesn't really blend out very nicely and when I tried to apply it on top of my makeup it basically just like smeared off my makeup and ruined my face makeup because it just like wiped off my foundation so this is the shade gold glitz let me swatch them both here is what it looks like it's just like basically like water and glitter and it feels like water like maybe a little tiny bit of oil but it mostly just feels like water so it doesn't feel like it has like the consistency that's gonna stick to your skin and just kind of dissolves into water like it looks like nothing now that it's smeared on my hand so the second shade is called rose glitz and this is more of like a rose gold shade so these are just very strange to me because i just don't see these really working very well and then um you could probably just apply them before makeup too but it's also just not gonna do anything so that's just like blended out very lightly it just looks like my hand is wet like it doesn't look like there's makeup on there so um i would definitely avoid those like the shimmer spray and the primer do a lot more for a glowy effect compared to those shimmer drops and it's also just feels like a water consistency so at first i thought maybe i could like mix a drop or two into a foundation but i feel like it's just going to ruin the consistency of the foundation because it just feels like water it doesn't feel like a makeup product um and then oh the other thing that i don't like okay so they also came out with two eyeliners and i didn't put on the eyeliners because they just apply very patchy so these are 24 dollars each there's like a shimmer black one and then there's a rose gold eyeliner and the idea of the rose gold one is really pretty but especially the black one i tried it out without makeup and just swatching out my hand over and over and i didn't want to take the risk of doing it with makeup because it just kept applying like very streaky and patchy so this is the black rose eyeliner it has a thicker tip to it and it's more of a felt tip to too. and there's like a rose gold shimmer in it so this is a swatch and I kind of pressed it down a little bit hard so kind of makes it look a little better than it is every other time that I've applied it but let me just swatch it a couple more times like because you're not going to get a consistent um really dark and you could even see in that first swatch like it's drying down a little bit patchy you're just not going to get like a really nice, precise black line with that. It just looks like really, really, really watered down. Like it's not very nicely pigmented. And this is actually a really pretty color. And it just feels like very watery. So I feel like it's just like a little bit too messy. I think this would be good if you're doing something kind of like a cut crease and you want to like carve it out maybe um but just for like an eyeliner just it is too i guess like too wet like it feels like too messy and there's not like a lot of control in trying it out okay right, so next we have six lip colors so we have three of the b legendary liquid lip which is more of like a creamy formula more of like a velvet lip and then we have three of their metal liquid lipsticks smashbox liquid lipsticks are one of my all-time favorite formulas i wear them all the time i'm going to start off with the b legendary liquid lips i'm going to swatch them all on my lips and i'm going to start off with the one i actually already have this is like already in their liquid lip collection i actually really like this shade out of all of the b legendary liquid lips this is probably one of my favorites ever um, so this is a shade Petal Metal. This is an awesome lip topper. Anytime I put this on, I feel like Xenon. All right, so that is Petal Metal. It looks like I just have frosting all over my lips. It's a little bit much, but if you use it just like on the center of your lips with another lipstick, it looks really pretty. I never wear it like this, so this looks like kind of crazy to me, but that is what Petal Metal looks like. In certain lights, it kind of looks like good, like it looks pretty, but then just like 
normal it kind of looks a little bit weird on me so i still like it i still wear it but i don't wear it like all over my lips so the next shade is xo vlada and this is more of like a chromey rose gold color I just put foundation on my lips that's why it looks a little bit crazy and this shade is a bit more wearable all right so that is xo vlada i definitely like that shade all over i think that's really pretty I don't know if I, like, I haven't worn metallic lips in forever, but that's actually a really pretty shade. And I think on, like, darker complexions, I think that looks a little bit more wearable. And I just really like this shade. That's really pretty. I think I have a lot of shimmer going on right now, so I probably do, like, the most minimal eye look. But I think I definitely like that shade. Next, we have the shade Rose Magic. I swatched this shade the other day, and I wasn't the biggest fan of it. Let's see what it looks like. I just applied that shade. It's super messy. I feel like I just missed my lips completely. But this is the shade Rose Magic. It's definitely very rosy. It's not my favorite shade on me. Maybe with like a completely different makeup look. Because it's not as metallic for sure. Even as the other two shades. It's not as metallic. Alright, so moving into the metallic liquid lipsticks. I'm going to start off with the shade Desert Rose, which is the darkest shade. It's more of like a really metallic pinky shade. That is Desert Rose. I think for the metallic liquid lipsticks, if you want something that's more subtle compared to the Be Legendary lips, that's what you're going to get with this because it does dry down like a little bit more matte and the Be Legendary lips look like really, really glossy. So you're going to get like that metallic look and that glossy look at the same time. But this is definitely a little bit more subtle. I don't like it at all with this eye look, but I would definitely wear this shade again because it's not like too dramatic. Next we have the shade XO Vlada, which has more of like that copper rose gold. So this is the shade XO Vlada. I might actually put this shade back on in just a minute. Um, I feel like I have a lot going on right now, but this is probably one that I would wear the most out of all three shades because it's definitely a little bit more wearable. It's still very metallic. And I might actually put this shade back on after I swatch the last shade, which is the shade in Bloom, which is more of like a pinky tone. Okay, so here is the final shade in Bloom, which is more of like a true rosy pink shade. I might just keep it on with this eye look. I feel like it's definitely a lot going on, but it probably matches it the best out of all of them, honestly, because it's more of that cool tone look. So that is it for all of the lip colors. I definitely prefer the liquid lip formula. I just like something that's like very long wearing and it dries down. And that one it definitely is. It's one of my favorite formulas. And the Be Legendary Liquid Lip is more of like a opaque gloss. It's really um, pigmented and it's definitely something that's like very hydrating but it's kind of sticky and it's not going to last for like several hours and especially if you're going to do something like a little bit more bold like a metallic lip i definitely like to prefer something that's going to stay in place um so i would just use those as kind of like a lip topper but not completely on its own all right guys so that is everything for my review of the smashbox and vlada petal metal collection there's definitely a lot of misses in this collection for me which is a huge letdown because I was really looking forward to especially the highlighters in this collection because they look so pretty just the packaging and just the layout of them they look so like high-end and gorgeous but the formula is very powdery and dry to me um, I'm wearing two highlighters right now and I build them up a ton and it's still kind of like it took forever just to get a like normal highlighter look, nothing too dramatic. Um, and then what else? Let's see, the liquid lipsticks I do like and I really like the formula of these. The Be Legendary I do like as well, but I'm going to prefer the liquid lipsticks. I would definitely avoid the eyeliners. They just are very like wet and you're not going to get a very opaque look with them. The shimmer drops... I just don't even know what to do with these. I don't like them at all. The primer's fine if you want like a shimmer primer. The primer spray I actually really like, but it's kind of like an extra step in your makeup routine. It's not anything that I was like missing in my makeup routine. I kind of wish that they did more of like a um, glowy setting spray instead of the shimmer spray because it's not something that's gonna really show up or really affect your makeup too much once you apply like your foundation and everything else so it is hydrating but um i rather just use a primer compared to this so i'm gonna keep using it but definitely not a necessity 
the eyeshadow palette really love um, I would recommend this out of everything in the collection I really like the colors really like the formula very very pigmented so I think that is everything in the collection definitely let me know your thoughts about it in the comments below let me know if you guys picked up any of the products in the comments below too and if you guys like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll talk to you guys soon in my next video thank you so much for watching bye <music>